Hi Stampers! Today we're going to be making this card um, and I wanted to feature the bitty banners on here that are new at Stamping Up and these are these little tiny little banners that you can run through your Big Shot uh, for your wording. Um, they are so cute, I love them. Anyway, so what we're going to use first is we're going to be taking a piece of Whisper White cardstock and this is cut at 8.5 by 5.5 and, and you're going to go ahead and score it at 4 and a quarter. so this will be our base. Then I'm going to be using one of our new in colors, which is called Raspberry Ripple, uh, to border that out and make the layer. Um, this is measured five by three and three quarters. Excuse me, five and a quarter by four. This one's five and a quarter by four. And then the next piece that we're using is going to be uh, five by three and three quarters. And this is um, on Whisper White. And I've gone ahead and used the polka dot, um, uh, perfect polka dots embossing folder already, um, to make this um, textured type of a card. So this will be our, our last layer on that. Um, the bottom scallop is um, actually called um, the Scallop Trim Border Punch and that's this one. And we're going to go ahead and punch this out and get that ready to place onto our card. And um, on this I always like to leave a little bit of extra length. Um, because this was cut five inches across, um, I actually made it about five and a quarter inches just to give it a little bit of extra length so I can trim this at the scallops if I need to so that I'll get them more evenly placed. See, because sometimes you'll get like a half a scallop or a half a scallop, so this way we can kind of evenly um, trim that off so it's not quite as obvious. And it just gives, gives the card a little bit more of a finished look. So that way you'll have more finished edges on your card. So that should fit on there pretty nicely right like that. So the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, trim this down just slightly. Um, you can actually place it under the card like that. That would be fine too. So um, we can do that as well. So um, when you're at, whenever you're using the um, impressions folders or any kind of extra type texture paper, um, I always like to use the three-in-one glue. I think things stick a little bit better on that. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of three-in-one in the back and then just place this down onto our cardstock here. And then the next little part that we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking some twine and we're going to run that around the back of the Whisper White cardstock a couple of times and then just knot it in the front. I got this tip from somebody else um, at the Stampin' Up um, headquarters um, and this is a wonderful little tip. If you have an extra little box laying around from say an empty stamp set maybe that you don't use or you've put some together, just go ahead and cut a hole in the bottom or in the side, just a small hole and just be able to run your twine through that so that it doesn't get all tangled up on you all the time. So I love that tip. I thought that was such a great idea. So we're going to wrap this around a couple times, cut that, and then it just stays nice and neat too, so it's awesome. And nothing fancy here. We're just basically tying a knot. Um, I'm going to give myself just a little bit more thread here, so I'm gonna let me rewind this one more time. And don't pull it too tight because you don't want your card to bow or rip. So, you know, it's kind of a gentle knot here. And then you can always loosen this up a little bit if you have to. So that's pretty good. All right, and then we'll trim this off a little bit. Okay, so that's our base of our card there to layer. And we'll go ahead and put these pieces together already. Again, I'm going to be using the 3-in-1 glue to adhere this part of the card together. So that fits pretty nicely. And on the back of this one, you can use either the snail or the 3-in-1 because this isn't embossed. So it'll stick fine. So we'll go ahead and put that together. 
So the next little part of the card, um, we're going to be using um, another punch, and this is the Blossom Punch, which is this one. And again, I'm just going to be punching out one of my uh, blossoms on the Raspberry Ripple to match the second layer of our card. Just going to kind of gently pull up the sides here, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And I'll be actually attaching this with a dimensional. So I'm just going to pop one of those on the back. And then for our center of our flower, I'm using the um, Summer Star Fruit again with a 3 quarter inch punch. And we'll go ahead and use another dimensional on the back of this and set that right in the center. So you have your base of your card. So now we're going to go ahead and use our little saying, uh, the Bitty Banners one. And I'm going to be using the saying from the Teeny Tiny Wishes, which is Happy Birthday. And we're going to go ahead and get our big shot here and a small piece of Whisper White cardstock. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp Happy Birthday on our Whisper White cardstock first. So now I've got my little Happy Birthday there. So now you can see exactly where you're going to be putting your banner. The banners, um, there's three to a set. We're going to be using this one here. Um, always check to make sure your wording is going to fit inside of there. So we're going to go ahead and take this one off, and you're going to feel that there's a side that's actually um, has a raised edge, which is the cutting edge, and then the front part is smooth. So we're going to go ahead and set this up so that our big shot is ready to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to first put down your multi-purpose platform, and it's totally closed, so you have tabs one and two closed. Take an acrylic plate, put that down. You're going to put your little cardstock down with your bitty banner on top and position it the way you want it. And then you're going to take your next acrylic plate and set it right on top gently here so you don't move the bitty banner around and then run it through. And like I said, there's three different ones and um, you know they fit a lot of different stamp sets. So then when you get it out, um, you're going to see it's kind of stuck in the center there a little bit. And you can just take off your bitty banner and reuse that. And now you've got this little tiny little banner here, which I just think is the cutest little thing. So in order to enhance that, because I'm using white cardstock, I'm going to go ahead and just use a little bit more of the Raspberry Ripple on one of my sponges here and just go across the top slightly just to give it a little bit more color so you can see it. And then we'll just go ahead and place that right on the card. Again, I'm going to use some of my dimensionals, just the side pieces that are the small pieces here. It's always good to get rid of those little tiny pieces on little tiny projects so you don't waste anything. And basically, you are done. Just set that right on your card, and there you go. The cutest little card in the world using those little bitty banners. Hope you enjoyed that project. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.